Welcome back guys to another tool video. Again, these are Harley specific or motorcycle specific. Um, I do work on other things other than Harley. But uh, wiring. I apologize for the rain noise. Trying to make a video of this side of the rain. Apologize guys. Hopefully it doesn't drown me out. Or if you don't like me, hopefully it does drown me out. Alright. So wiring, you can do wiring yourself. You don't need to be afraid, right? So you're doing your own handlebar job. Mess up one of the wires. There's always the option of soldering wires together, especially if you're extending your wiring for your bars. But if you wanna replace a factory uh, connector or add in, say, you're trying to add in a turn signal you know an additional turn signal and you buy you can buy all the factory style connectors and build everything yourself so you can make that that T connector so you can still run your stock ones and then have those additional ones and these are the tools that you need to do that this style I'm not so fond of for a wire stripper this is a GB, these you can buy at any hardware store. Um, I'm not too fond of this style. Uh, I have an automatic stripper that I use that works pretty good. The specific connectors, the Deutsch connectors and uh, some of the other ones that Harley uses require a specific style of terminal. Well, that terminal not only needs to be crimped properly, so this is the crimper for those. Not only needs to be crimped properly, but the installation or the rubber boot that goes around it to seal that connector has to be done properly. So that's what these are. These I got off of Amazon. I don't know the price. Um, these are IWIS, but these two are the two that you would need to fix some of the terminals that are in some of the, the factory style connectors. Say you're using a butt connector, I don't recommend it, I'd rather you solder your connections. But some will, now we have new terminals that are heat shrunk. If you wanna use those on your motorcycle, by all means, it's your motorcycle, you can do it, it's yours. But this, is what I would recommend. When I first got this, this is a conductite one crimper. When I first got this, I hated it. Fuck it. I like the old style, uh, you know, just a single of the cheapies you can get anywhere. I didn't like this. Well, I honestly think I was using it wrong. Once I got used to this, this works mint. It doesn't damage the heat shrink that's on some of those newer butt connectors or the terminal ends. This works awesome. I would recommend this to anyone and it's quick, you just ratchet. So you get, you can kind of hold it in there so it doesn't get away from you. Put your wire in, done. Wiring can be done. You are not stupid. These are all things that you can do. You just need to take your time and do them properly. And to do that, you need the proper tools. You need these two, wire cutter, wire stripper, and then a terminal crimper. These are fairly cheap. Um, some of the specific tools that are made by the company that makes the terminals are ridiculously expensive. I think some of the crimpers are or in the hundred dollar range or higher for some of the for some of the crimpers. You don't you don't need those. Is it would it be nice to have? Sure. But these I've used these quite a few times. I I built a wiring harness for my 76 C10 and used a bunch of weather tight connectors. These worked mint for that. Um, it's just having the proper tools for the job to do. And you can do it. All right, guys, if you got any questions, post them up. 
Um, I'm not super electrical knowledgeable, so, but if you need some help, by all means, ask. I might be able to help you. Um, if you have any questions about these tools that I showed you today or where you can get them, I'll leave links in the description because I do have them in my purchase history. Um, these are available. I bought these on Amazon. This one was local and this one was local. So if you can buy them local, buy them local. But if you can't, you can get them on Amazon. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. Hit that bell if you would.